my name is Savina Francisco. I am a fantasy wildlife artist and today we are going to be talking about electric erasers. As I've learned how to draw, one of my favorite parts has been getting art supplies. I'm a little bit of an art supply junkie. So when I saw my first conversation online about electric erasers, I was really curious. I love to try everything. And when I actually got my electric eraser in the mail, my entire life changed. So today I want to talk to you about the virtues of electric erasers. And I also want to do a little review for you on a couple of electric erasers that I myself have tried. So let's go ahead and get started. So we all know artists love art supplies, right? And maybe some of us go a little bit overboard. I'm not making any admissions here, but there are some art supplies that are really important, almost to the point of being crucial. And for me, that is, I definitely include the electric eraser in that. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, electric erasers can be so incredibly helpful. What they are helpful for is a few different things. Number one, they are helpful for erasing the darkest areas. No matter how dark you go, you can pull up areas that you wouldn't be able to with a regular eraser. So you're able to get, um, get a lot of material up that you wouldn't necessarily be able to pull up with, I'm using my sketchbook here, by the way. And as you can see, I'm pushing as hard as I can with a regular eraser, right? And I'm only able to get, and this is my heavy duty eraser too. I'm only able to get so much up. So you can see that there's a really big difference in terms of how much material you can pull up from, um, from the paper. With the electric eraser, you get about two to three times more. And my battery is actually going a little bit low, so it's actually even pulling up a little bit less than it normally does. It's quick, it's fast, and the thing that I love about the electric eraser especially is the fact that if you are a beginner, it gives you the confidence to be able to go darker. As, as we know, um, when you are a beginner, you tend to not want to do the really dark darks because you are afraid that you're going to ruin your drawing. Well, having an electric eraser, knowing that you are able to pull up no matter how much darkness you put down, as you can see, I just replaced that. So no, having that confidence allows you to be able to experiment a lot more than you would otherwise. Electric erasers come in two different styles. They can come in battery powered or plug-in. I prefer the battery powered because I like to do plein air drawings sometimes and I like the portability. I also like being able to take my sketchbook and my sketch equipment with me when I'm, um, you know, going and when I know I'm going to be waiting somewhere or something like that. So. I prefer the portability, but if you're going to be drawing when you're in your studio and only then, obviously that's not going to be that big of a deal to you. I do tend to find that the ones that plug in seem to be a little bit heavier than the ones that have the batteries. Um, the other thing is, is that I find that with the battery powered ones, the batteries do tend to run out a little bit quickly. I, I use mine quite a bit, but not, you know, constantly. And nevertheless, the batteries still do run out quite quickly. So you, it might be worth it to invest in some rechargeable batteries specifically for your electric eraser. The two erasers that I'm gonna be comparing today are the Sakura electric eraser and the Helix electric eraser. Let's go ahead and start off with the Sakura. This is the one that I use after trying out a few different brands. This is the one that I actually chose for a few different reasons. Number one, it's fairly lightweight. It's got a button on the side that is very easy to push, which is important because it sits really comfortably in the hand and you need to be able to access that button easily and push it very easily because if, it, if it's too hard to push, then you're going to affect your drawing, particularly if you're doing fine areas, if you're doing really small areas that you're trying to work with, then if it's too heavy, and you're having to push that button too hard, you're gonna you're gonna go across and you're gonna mess up an area that you did not intend to um, to mess up. It has uh, it comes with some replaceable nibs, and they're very easy to replace. You just pull them out and put them back in. You can also buy replacement nibs, and they're actually relatively inexpensive. As far as the, um, it is a little bit tough to get it back in, but once it's it's not that difficult. As far as electric erasers go, this one is a little bit on the more expensive side. It's about $30, I think, um, when I ordered it from the art store. 
but it has definitely been worth it. I've dropped it a couple of times. It has not come apart and it's really held its own. Again, the only thing that I have found is that the batteries run low a little bit quick, more quickly than I would like, but that's not such a big deal because I can buy rechargeable batteries. The Helix, on the other hand, is a, um, a little bit on the heavier side. It's a little bit on the bulkier side. And actually, when I purchased this, I used it for about two or three minutes and it died. <laughs> and so I, that's why I bought the Sakura. The Helix is very inexpensive and it cost about $10, roughly about $10. And in this case, you definitely get what you paid for. Um, it also, you know, comes with two batteries. It's, it's very similar in terms of uh, the makeup of the Sakura, it comes with nibs also, and it's very, very easy to replace, that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the actual usage of this, I find it to be very bulky in the hand. It's literally physically a lot larger than the Sakura. The Sakura, although it is bulkier than a pencil, obviously, it is shaped a little bit more streamlined. The Helix, not so much. Um, and I find that, that the placement of the button is a little awkward as well. You have to pull your finger back a little bit far. And here's the worst, the, the part that is really the worst for me is that you have to push really hard on it. So not only do you have to hold it back a little bit farther than you would a pencil so it makes it really awkward, but um, the button is really hard to push. And so you're focusing on that and not focusing on the fineness of the details. So this definitely would not be an electric eraser that I would be comfortable using with uh, drawings that have any kind of fine detail. With the Sakura, that's that's what I use them for. My, my drawings and my sketches tend to have a lot of detail to them. So as far as electric erasers go, the Helix is not one that I could recommend. If you absolutely are on a total budget and you cannot afford anything beyond the $10, well, then, then it's worth it. But be aware that it's, it very well could stop running. I did read when I purchased it, I read a lot of the reviews that said that it had stopped running for them too. I had to actually conk this on my desk <laughs> just to try to see if I could get it running. Um, and fortunately it did start running again, but you have to be aware that it's kind of a hit or miss. And with these sort of difficult, it's, it's just, I can't say that it's, that it's worth it for me. So in this case, it is the Sakura electric eraser that wins out for me. And this is one that I can definitely highly recommend. Okay. So I'm just going to show you really quickly the differences as far as how much each of the erasers can pull up. And that is the regular eraser. Here is the Sakura. And here is the Helix. The other thing I don't like about the Helix is when you push down, it stops. So it's very difficult to use. You can't push very hard on it. It does a nice job of pulling up, but it's, it is very difficult to use. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have an art supply product that you would like to see reviewed or compared, or if you have a question about anything that you've seen today, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much. Bye.